Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Six, and today we are checking out Naruto is Sealed. Konoha needs a new Hokage. Now, if you've not read the recent chapter of Boruto, I would recommend you not watching this, unless you don't mind spoilers, because uh, I'm going to spoil something right now. So, that chapter was boss, uh, only because of the uh, outcome and a few hints at things to come, something to do with their, uh, what's Boruto's sister? Um, but yeah, Kawaki seals Naruto away. Now, what happens next? And how does someone step up when that girl is there in Kanaha? This is going to be an interesting one. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what Six has to say. If you read Boruto monthly, or maybe you just captured the most recent chapter when I was it came out binging a few days it, ago, and then you know that... yeah, I like I didn't know it was coming. This chapter was coming out. I didn't realize the release schedule. I just caught up, and then this chapter came out, and it was like, oh, Waki has just sealed Naruto away in some sort of dimension that we don't know where it is. We just know that Naruto was sent away there, and Kawaki is dummy OP right now as well. And Kawaki seemingly with this action contextualizes the statement he makes to Boruto in chapter one that mm. the age of Shinobi is over and he is going to send him to the same place he sent the seventh Hokage. Now with this, we do sort of have to wonder where Naruto is. Yeah, was he sent Naruto him? will come back before this and maybe get sent to somewhere else. But I don't think that that's likely. I think it's far more likely to just say that Kawaki doing this action is what he meant in chapter At one the beginning where yeah. he was talking to boruto but this sort of begs the question since naruto is gone and that time skip is at least a few years away given how old boruto and kawaki look yeah like there's some time in between so what's happening who is going to take over the position of hokage at this yeah. point in time or are they even gonna bother and that's basically what I'm going to be going over here today. Um, there's three people, or maybe four, who are the most likely or the most put forward for the position. Kakashi could step back That up. would be Konohamaru, uh, Shikamaru, Kakashi, and Sara. And I'm just going to go Sarada. over the likelihood mm -hmm. of each potential Hokage candidate and who I think in the end will be the next Hokage, the eighth Hokage, if we're even going to get one. Going over Konohamaru first, since I think him and another person here are sort of unlikely to take the position, but going over Konohamaru first, we do know that one of the prerequisites for being a Hokage is being trustworthy, but another one of them is also being extremely powerful. Now, Konohamaru is doing okay power wise but he definitely has the backing of the village i reckon back in part one we're told that the hokage a few times anyway the hokage is the peak of the ninja world he's basically so, the strongest so cool. around the strongest in the village and konohamaru really doesn't seem to fit that bill now i'm going to talk about kakashi a lightning in the icy sky a little bit here it's a novel the canonicity of it is a little bit questionable okay but i still want to go over it because there's something interesting in it that kakashi says that i think can be helpful to the discussion so kakashi is talking to Tsunade about how he's really unready to take the position of hokage and she's bringing up to him well you were gonna take it back when Donzo was killed and she was in a coma why don't you feel like you could take it now and although kakashi's sharingan doesn't consume his chakra as much now so he's overall a little bit better stat wise he says that he doesn't feel like he could protect the village anymore because he doesn't have kamui and he doesn't have mm. his uh raikiri jutsu and he the, felt like with such abilities. a powerful jutsu it would be easy to protect konoha yeah so sort of a prerequisite for the hokage is to be able to protect the village right and while konohamaru may be looped in on a lot of the more secret things that goes on in konoha just because I don't think he's that strong. does like him so much and he is such a trustworthy person him being able to protect the village, especially from threats like Momoshiki, who was literally in the village, and then there's Ida and Damon. Not happening. It seems sort of unlikely that they would give him or Sarda yeah. the position at this point. Yeah, no way. Now, Kukashi being able to handle Ida and Damon is also a bit weird, but I'll talk about him uh, a little bit later, and then same with Shikamaru. But back on Konohamaru, the only thing we really know that Konohamaru has, he can bring to the table, is a Rasengan. Mm. 
which Naruto also had, but Konohamaru lacks sage mode in all of Naruto's other attributes. Naruto has a massive chakra supply, and he really has nothing over Kakashi or Shikamaru to put him in that position. And then, even at this point in the manga, Sarada is probably, anyway, a little bit stronger than Konohamaru, if not a lot stronger than Konohamaru, just judging off mm. of how she can scale to Karma Borto and Kawaki. I suppose. And Konohamaru couldn't do that Point. earlier on in the manga. Foul, now, it is foul, possible foul. Konohamaru's been getting stronger throughout the, the background, and we just haven't seen it. But seeing that he got strong enough to catch up to those two is a bit of a, of a leap, especially considering the massive gulf between him and uh, Karma 1 Kawaki. Where Karma and Kawaki could completely dismantle these Karma robots or Kara robots, whatever, during the first arc of the show, or at least the first part of the Kara arc of the show, and Konohamaru seemingly knew he was not able to even put a dent in them, that gulf is pretty wide and Kawaki's only gotten stronger and more Otsutsukification since then, so saying that he closed that gap is a bit too much of a leap that for me, Yeah, but... Like I said, I, I don't think it's likely Konohamaru would uh, would take this position anyway, just given those factors, although he is a very trustworthy person, clearly, so he does at least have that going for him. Yeah, he's definitely got the village, like, trusting him, but strength-wise, I just, I just don't see it being a thing. Now, Sarada would be the next person, I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, that I don't think would be likely to take the position. Um, We do see... This isn't in the manga, but it is in the anime. We do see that Naruto has to learn a lot to become Hokage. And on top of that, they weren't ready to promote him even after he basically won the entire ninja war. Yeah, the ninja war was beaten by So Naruto, yeah. just being powerful clearly isn't enough. They promoted Kakashi over him. So it's like, do, do, we, do we give sorry to the position as a 12 year old no probably not it's probably just not likely what's i was about to say you wouldn't give a child um kage status but didn't am i wrong here wasn't one of the juby that was made kage in one of the villages uh, a child uh, am i i'm i think i'm wrong i, I i'm i'm picturing it i can't quite remember however that she's going to get the position. If anything, if they do promote another Hokage, it would probably be um, Sarada coming to position in the ninth Hokage spot. But her coming to the eighth spot is just looking super unlikely at this point. Unless, you know, we give the position to Kakashi, in which, you know, there would be no other place and then she would go to the eighth spot. Talking about Shikamaru, he's never shown any interest in being, being Hokage. No, Even so. back in part two, we see Tamari telling Shikamaru that he would make a pretty good Hokage. And Shikamaru is basically showing complete disinterest in this position. And what Shikamaru what wants to do is just be beside Naruto and help him while he's the Hokage. So I think he would probably want to take more of a position like that. Rather it be with Kakashi or Konohamaru, whoever ends up getting promoted. Or maybe they'll just leave the position completely blank. Because we do know, nowadays, Shikamaru, he does make a lot of the more darker decisions. Like, he's uh, he's sort of like Naruto's Donzo, I was gonna in a way. I was thinking that. I was thinking he is. Not to the same extent as Danzo, but he is, like, that guy these really shady type moves or not shady but like yeah not the extent that downs like consider like morally bad but it's just all in the it's all in the good of the village they're nowhere near as bad as the decisions nanzo makes like when amado is telling everyone that he had a daughter that passed away shikamaru tells ida look look into the past and tell me if he's telling the truth or not and it's it's just really cold-hearted in a way like that but he's not, like, doing things like Donzo, like telling someone to murder their entire family. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. But I do recognize that Shikamaru could take the position, especially nowadays. Um, really, all the stuff about Shikamaru not wanting to take the position comes from when he was just much, much, much younger. 
and now that he's older and he's a little bit less lazy like he doesn't say oh that's a drag anymore he doesn't do anything like that he seems to always be willing to work at least in the manga i haven't I seen the whole it, war to enemy he seems to be willing to work you know alongside naruto do whatever to make the village better so he might take the position and at this maybe point he, i guess it would be maybe if he felt like he needed to step up then yeah or maybe if he was told to just hold the position until they get naruto back maybe he would just like fill that spot I a good idea to bring up that when we do see the flash forward naruto is still the last face on the hokage, on the hokage wall, wall yeah. now, this could mean one of two things either another hokage never gets appointed or it's kakashi who gets appointed and no one gets up there mm -hmm. and i guess one of three things <laughs> i said one of two by bad or third option someone gets appointed but it's like a donzo situation where they never get fully inaugurated so they never get their face on the wall either that they or stand maybe, i don't know the guy who does the stone faces gets murked uh by a car member one of the jubi yeah who makes those things. faces on the wall the last person and obviously who i think is probably the most likely to take this position is kakashi we even have a situation like this just dating back to the first iteration of hokage we've seen in naruto where the current hokage dies so the previous one takes over steps over yeah that's steps, something that's already happened before in. So it being reused as a story element, not even really a bad thing. It's not like it's completely redoing something. So Kakashi could take his position again. He might not want to, but I suggest he might not want to, but he probably would just for the betterment of the village. And yeah. Ikimoto again has said in the past. If, if Kakashi felt like he needed to step up to save the village, he, he probably would. Ikimoto and Kodashi both. They've said in the past that Kakashi, they're waiting to bring him in at some special moment. Ooh. So if you read the Boruto manga, Kakashi's not in it. Not at all. all. Yeah. Like Kakashi has never once showed up in the Boruto manga. So him showing up now huh. and maybe being like much, much stronger than he used to be so that he can help protect the village or whatever and actually fight off these Kara threats might be within the best interest of the story at this point because right now we have nothing and as far as we know this is the beginning of kawaki's statement where he says the you know, the shinobi, shinobi is completely over so i personally see kakashi as the most likely person to step in as the next hokage or i guess <laughs> previous hokage the one that takes over because Konoha is just desperately in need of a leader, right? Like right now, Ada is running around doing whatever she wants. Yeah. So is Damon. And then you got weird things like Himawari by Damon anyway, being stated to maybe be more powerful than both Boruto and Kawaki. Yeah, because he's like, wait a minute. What do you mean you're not a ninja when you can? Ah, never mind. It's like, what do you mean? What did you see? What's going on? So, unless they're going to put Himawari up there as the next uh, Hokage, imagine. Konoha is in, in desperate need of someone to fill that position. Now, at this point, a lot of you are probably wondering why I haven't mentioned Sasuke becoming Hokage. And that's just to that. do with the fact that Sasuke quite literally can't become Hokage. If you don't know, Sasuke isn't even a Konoha ninja at this point naruto acknowledges sasuke as the shadow hokage the hokage the shadows whatever but sasuke is not an officially recognized konoha ninja sasuke doesn't have a ninja rank he doesn't just so weird band. considering he's not a konoha ninja anymore yeah it's weird considering how goddamn powerful he is and how everyone knows who he is and how what she helps out wow more and that's because of all the crimes he committed against konoha he, I mean, killed Sasuke, people. he killed people this, he killed right, the sixth hokage yeah yeah he killed yeah. donzo so <laughs> sasuke i mean you, you see at the end of the anime sasuke had a seal over his eyes he was all wrapped up 
he's unable to move because they're like, well, lock him up. He may have helped, but put him away for all the all the bad things he's done. He's literally just completely unable to be Hokage at this point. There is also, and this is this is one of the weirder things. This is one of the weirder ways that they could go about it. Um, I definitely think this one is kind of unlikely, but what if there's this now potential for a village merger? Like, say, Ooh. Gar would probably Ooh. be the, the most likely to do this since yeah. the Sand and Leaf have always shown uh, a lot of love for each other. Say they do a village merger and now Konoha becomes a part of the Sand Village or whatever, and Gara is basically Kaze Kage of two lands. Wow. That's extremely unique. Yes. Um, Like I said, probably unlikely, <gasps> but it would be pretty cool. What if they made... Orochimaru Hokage. Now, what if? What if, though? What if they made Orochimaru Ho <gasps> No, they wouldn't do Kabuto. No, but, like, yeah, mad, like, Orochimaru. Oh, that'd be cool. If we were to get something like that. <laughs> well, and it doesn't even have to be the sand, right? Like, it could be the stone. It could be the land of lightning. All of the other Kage are willing to help Naruto. We've seen that before. Whenever they fought Momoshiki, after they got back from Ishiki, we seen before that the other villages are willing to help Naruto and Konoha out. And I highly doubt that once they hear Kawaki sent Naruto away, that all of the villages would take it, especially Gara would take it, sitting down no. and not try to help Konoha in the best way they could. He's on their way. The only potential on blocker way. I see for this is maybe Shikamaru They're on their completely way. opposed to it. If you want to take, again, some of the novel stuff is canon. One time during a five Kage summit, this is post Momoshiki, Shikamaru put all the Kage under shadow paralysis, made them completely unable to move just to get Naruto to flex his power so the other villages could realize that he is the strongest one there. Because the, the summit was getting a little heated. They were getting a little too rough. And let's be real, they can't beat Naruto. No, <laughs> but just not real. They can't do it. Last but not least, the last thing I see them really doing is having someone use transformation jutsu, probably Konohamaru, poses Naruto, and just have him be seen by the village oh, constantly. So people don't so know that he's gone. thinks that Naruto's been captured in order to not spread wide panic. Interesting. That is honestly, honest to God, something I could see Shikamaru doing. Yeah to keep the other villages the out of Konoha's business. But that's all. Um, that's really all the things I could think of, all the potential ways I could think they could go to either spin this or make it into a better situation and pick the next Hokage. But yeah, other than that, have a nice day. Fair, nice. Some interesting uh, discussion points being made there. Sarada, no way. It's like, that's just not gonna happen. And um Oh, I didn't realize I had my, uh, ma oh, it's underneath my jumper. It's a Madara Funko Pop t-shirt. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't see, um, I really don't see Sarada being, uh, made Hokage. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Kakashi stepping up is definitely an option. And yeah, um, <laughs> Konohamaru's, uh, posing as Naruto like he did for the um, ceremony. See that happening? I want a weird twist. I want a Rochimaru to be like brought in to like step up and do mad stuff. Like, well. And then it would, I don't know, stage mode with, ah. Uh, but that chapter was cool. Seeing Hinata slap Kawaki was just so cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, thank you to my Patrons, if you want to have your name at the end of every video I upload, link in the description of the Patreon page. One dollar month is all our support channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for that. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know if you watch us for future videos. I'll see you guys later, guys. Need